Hi everyone, thanks for picking this video. This vlog is about Catania. Catania is one of the main cities in Sicily, one of the regions of Italy. Born in the shadow of Etna, the largest active volcano on the Eurasian plate, Catania is a city where naturalistic beauty blends with artistic and cultural beauty in a way that is difficult to describe to those who have never visited. For better or for worse, the city seems to have developed in a symbiotic relationship with Etna, with the lava stone being a characteristic and element for the construction of many houses. Etna also contributes to the fertile soil surrounding the city. In the year 1693, the terrible earthquake of Valdenoto raised Catania to the ground, leaving 16,000 people dead. Its reconstruction in the middle of the Baroque period gave it a new artistic richness among palaces and churches that constitute an exceptional architectural heritage. So much so that the historical center was included among UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The link between Catania and Etna can be easily understood by walking along Via Etnea, a shopping street in Catania about 3 km long and structured in a way as to always have an excellent view of the volcano. is the soul of the Sicilian popular expression. The influence of the peoples and civilizations that colonized Sicily in the past have handed down the infinite repertoire of popular customs and habits, all combined with indigenous culture, like can be seen in some of the markets which populate the city and are very popular. Another blog about these popular markets will be released soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Catania's reconstruction in the middle of the Baroque period gave it a new artistic richness. The city was built in the new Baroque style which was popular around the 1700s in Sicily. The task to rebuild the city was entrusted to Giovan Battista Vaccarini, a pupil of Bernini, appointed city architect in 1730, who combined Roman school of Baroque with tradition. He was followed by his pupil Giuseppe Palazzotto and Francesco Battaglia and transformed the city into the Catania, the Baroque Catania we know today. The Camastra Plan, which was drawn up in 1694, provided the creation of two main arteries, that of course of the Nacionalità, today known as Via Vittorio Emanuele, and that of Via Oseda that, as we know, via Etnia, the popular via Etnia. Perpendicular to each other to form a right angle in Piazza del Duomo, which we are seeing at the moment. This is one of the fountains present in Piazza del Duomo. This straight artistic street fabric connected to the old walls gave a baroque and scenographic setting to the city. The Benedictines carried out an exceptional work, the reconstruction of the monastery of San Nicolò Arena, perhaps the most fascinating monument of the Baroque city and certainly the most grandiose. Porta Garibaldi was opened in line with the facade of the Duomo, and Porta Oseda constituted the end of Vietnam.
Via Vittorio Emanuele offered the perspective on the rich palaces of the city and on the prestigious churches as well as other buildings. Piazza del Duomo is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is Catania Central Piazza with a combination of contrasting lava and limestone surrounded by buildings in the unique local baroque style and crowned by the Grand Cathedral de Sant'Agata. When the weather is clear, from Vietnam, you can clearly see the silhouette of the famous volcano that many tourists from all over the world come to admire. Etna Volcano is the highest active volcano in Europe. Experience the unique landscapes of the volcano on a nature trip. That's a perfect balance of adventure and learning. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more vlogs about Sicily and other European destinations. Thanks for watching.